Hey guys, so I wanted to hop on here and give you guys an update about um, kind of week one of post cerclage and shortened cervix, incompetent cervix update. Um, I'm going to be continuing my every two week pregnancy updates starting on Thursday, so I'll be doing my 23, no way, 23. Two weeks pregnant no it'll be the next week so 24 weeks pregnant next week and um, trying to keep those videos semi pregnancy symptom related and these ones more incompetent cervix journey related so about exactly a week ago was when I got home from the hospital and filmed that last video for you guys. I still have my bracelet on. I don't know why it doesn't bother me, but it's still on. And it has really felt good to be home and in my own bed and with my kitchen and with all of my things. Like, I felt very secure and comfortable at the hospital, but just being at your own place feels amazing. This week, um, I you know, did what my doctor said, took it easy with bed rest and relaxing, and I did have some, or there are moments where I do feel some slight cramping, like on a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being really bad pain, they're like a 1. So it's just like noticeable cramping, which is pretty common for a cerclage. I just, you know, drink a lot of water and lay back down and they seem to go away. Um, this week has been emotional, which I had expected because in many ways I really have felt like I have been, I want to say mourning, but not necessarily mourning because I haven't lost our son. You know, he is still in my belly. He's still kicking me like crazy and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, I've just never imagined pregnancy to be like this and from talking with my other cerclage incompetent cervix um, Facebook friends they all kind of felt the same way where like they really just didn't imagine pregnancy this way they didn't imagine you know going through all of this and with it being summer and it's only nice you know, four months out of the year here, I was really having down moments. I was really feeling upset for a lot of different superficial reasons and silly reasons, but the emotions are real. I'm not going to be fake and say that I'm this super positive person that's immune to getting the blues or feeling down or depressed because it is really real. Um, you know, my business and my work is health and fitness. And so I think about, you know, how is this going to affect my business until, you know, the baby comes? How is this going to affect my body? Because I know working out is so important and it helps with aches and pains and stuff with, that come with pregnancy. And I just never imagined myself being this like lazy type because I, I lay in bed all day and so that's what I feel like I'm doing and even though some people think that'd be so cool it's not as glamorous as bed rest sounds and um it was my husband and I's one year anniversary yesterday and so that was kind of hard because my cousin got married and we were supposed to go to that and then you know, like I pictured us at a cabin on the lake spending time together and surprising my husband with that and, you know, traveling this summer and things like that. So it's just been kind of hard. And, you know, there's just so, still so many unknowns. There's so many unknowns with incompetent cervix. You know, the baby... The, the stitch could hold and I could go to 36 weeks, they remove the stitch, and I even go overdue. 
that's a possibility. But there's a possibility that my water could break tomorrow. Um, there's a possibility that that could happen in four weeks, six weeks. Like, there's just so many unknowns and thinking of having a preemie. There's so many un unknowns that come with that as well. So it's been more of a mind game and I feel like I've been on bed rest for like a whole month but it's been a week since I last talked to you guys and that's kind of just been how I've feel been feeling. I did go to the doctor and my doctor is super proactive about this all. Like some doctors would be like, oh, we can't do anything till 24 weeks, see you then. But my doctor, my doctor's office had called me and said that they wanted to see me and just, you know, check my cervix and, and visit with me. And um, so we went to my doctor on Thursday and they measured my cervix via, I've got the hiccups, abdominal ultrasound. And my cervix was measuring around a 1.7. My surgeon said that they, he stitched up to be around a 1.5. So it is about what he said that he stitched it up to. And maybe even lengthening a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it's, it's, it was really like good news because I was fearing getting more bad news. You know, when you go to the doctor and... You just get, like, every time you go there, you're like, I'm just getting all this bad news, and I, I just don't even want to go there because I don't even want to know, but it was good news, and um, we have weekly appointments scheduled up until when this baby's born, so also not, you know, like, how we ever thought my pregnancy would be. Um, we were thinking about getting things rolling on our house sooner than what we thought like and that kind of this has kind of put a halt to all of that just because we don't know how it's going to go with medical bills and insurance and whatnot and it makes me very thankful for my job as a beach body coach you know a lot of you guys ask me how do i make money and you know can talk about how i'm not consistent with my videos on youtube well that's because i don't make income off of youtube youtube i do for fun youtube i do for me and to connect with you guys and I'm a full-time beach body coach I make a multi six-figure income I don't say that to brag nor does beach body guarantee any sort of income because it has to be earned and worked for not given it's there's no guarantee I have to say that legally because we talked about income but I just can't imagine doing anything else and I'm so grateful that for this company. I'm so grateful for my job and my team, Misfit Republic. Like, search the hashtag Misfit Republic on Instagram, guys, and you'll see how bomb my team is. Um, and it's just so it's been like a roller coaster of like I feel so down in the dumps, and then there's times where I am so grateful and I'm so hopeful. And then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, if you're watching this because you are on kind of the same place where I was and, you know, just learning about incompetent cervix and cerclages and things like that, there is a Facebook group. It's called Incompetent Cervix Awareness and it is a fantastic, fantastic, supportive Facebook group. At times it can be hard going in there because there's still a lot of stories of heartache, but there's also a lot of stories of hope. So if you are struggling with incompetent cervix or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me via my Facebook like page. I'll leave the link to that down below and I can get you connected into that group. It is so helpful and even if you want somebody to just talk to about this because you know people don't understand unless they've been through this. We've gotten text messages and and things like that from people asking us like oh are you guys still gonna go on this trip this summer? Are you guys still coming to this event this weekend or whatever? And it's kind of just like what part of bed rest 
and this baby could come at any moment don't you understand and I know that people like don't they don't have bad intentions because they just don't understand like the cerclage is there to help support my cervix but it did not cure and it's not like a, a safety net for something to for something bad to go wrong like some women get their cerclage and a week or two later the baby comes and some you know go full term and even overdo it it's every every person is different every story is different and um, unless you are going through it or have been through it it's it's just not something that people understand so talking to people that have been through it really is helpful so if you want to please reach out to me or search for that group on Facebook and um, it's really an awesome supportive community so thank you guys so much for watching and for your support and for your prayers I know a lot of you guys when I upload these aren't going through this right now but if you ever know somebody that does you know please feel free to have them message me or talk to me I just I just really am passionate about this now that it's something that I'm going through and want to be a help to others.